Hey, all you Vim nerds. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about IdeaVim and I haven't quite adjusted all my things over to using only Vim and Tmux, which if you haven't checked out that video, check it out. I'll link in the description. And maybe if I remember to put it up top in the video, but using Kotlin, I haven't gotten quite working with NeoVim. So I wanted to show this so that you can configure things in IntelliJ if you're using Kotlin and that way you can you know, still keep all your nice keyboard shortcuts and start dipping your toes in to use Vim. So let's jump into it. I'll show you some cool stuff about the idea Vim plugin. All right, so we're in here in IntelliJ and you know, I have the idea Vim plugin installed. So if we go type in plugin, I did a command comma there to bring up this preferences menu. So if we look in, if you don't have it installed, then it should be in marketplace. Look up idea Vim. And it shows right here. This is the one that I've been using. Uh, just install it, hit OK. And then you should be able to hit J to go down, H to go up, L to go over, and H to go left. Using all those Vim commands, you can go all over the place. You can do like a 5K, you know, do that a couple of times and get some nice Vim stuff going on here. You can configure whichever Vim or idea command works on whichever one by doing, again, the command comma. And then in here, looking for Vim as your editor. And so in here, whenever you use one of these keyboard shortcuts, it will actually prompt you in the bottom right where it's like, hey, you used control R to do something. I'm going to set that as a Vim command or use that as an idea command. And you can go in and override that. Most of these I'm probably going to end up using Vim, but some of them I really want to do like control G is like God mode in IntelliJ. So that's one that I definitely want to keep using. So you can configure that and get that working however you like. You get to keep all your, your keyboard shortcuts. So like control shift O is going to bring up your files and you can do like a fuzzy search for them. Uh, control, or I'm sorry, I, I think I said control. I meant command. Command shift A, that will bring up your actions and you can do things like run tests or you can uh, split windows. So I, the one I love to do is split and move right. That one's a really good one. And then command, you know, command one will take you over to project window here. Uh, command one will open and close it. And then if you don't already know, like just go through all the command number and you can see like where your run menu is, where your debug menu is where your test menu is, and then command nine is the one I use the most with Git. And that way you can go in here and modify things, revert some changes, or even commit from here and do like a command K to commit your work. So that's really handy if you haven't used that before. One of the things I really like using in Vim is setting marks. And so you can do that. Let's go up to this line right here. And if you hit M capital A, you can see on the left side there, it sets a mark. And it doesn't matter what letter you have, M and capital B, that's B there. And so if I go to a different, I just have one file in this project, but if we were at the bottom, then we could do a single quote and a capital A, and it takes us back to that location there, which is really handy. So like if you need to jump around to different files or need to jump around to different locations in a file, then that one is really handy to be able to quickly do that. And then F3 is the default for uh, removing those. You know, again, M and whatever letter, and you can jump back to it just by doing single quote and whatever that letter is. So really handy. Hopefully this gets you started on IdeaVim. This is just a short video just to help you with getting set up and downloading that plugin. If you have any questions, then please post them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And if you like the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.